MasterCard tightens payment regulations for sellers of adult content. Now, what do you think this is going to do to OnlyFans? That's my question right there. OnlyFans is pretty big right now since every thought on the planet wants to get into that. As we read through some of these new regulations, let, let's see what happens. Yeah, MasterCard is updating the requirements it sets for banks that process payments for sellers of adult content, according to Bloomberg News. A MasterCard blog post published today said the company will demand clear, unambiguous, and documented consent in adult content. <sighs> As if that isn't already a thing. The firms will also be required to ensure websites document the age and verify the identity of anyone depicted in pictures and videos, as well as those uploading the content, Bloomberg News reported. Well, rip only, fans, because you know some of those girls aren't of legal age. But also, we know that these lunatics are going to apply these same rules to fictional content. Like, oh, look, this 3D model has to, has to give consent. And, oh, this 3D model has to prove its age. According to John uh, Verdeshi, MasterCard Senior VP of Customer Engagement and Performance, the banks that connect merchants to our network will need to, uh, to certify that the seller of adult content has effective controls in place to monitor, block, and where necessary, take down all illegal content. So this is the world that the Puritans wanted. They pushed for a system where the payment processors are doing the government's job. The middlemen when it comes to moving money, are now dictating what you're allowed to spend your money on. And it's only going to be getting worse from here. So MasterCard, the Bloomberg report continued, will also require that banks ensure that sites have a review process prior to any content being published, as well as a system for complaints that addresses illegal and non-consensual activity within seven business days. Oh, man. If they are forcing this requirement on banks... You know what would be absolutely hilarious? If the banks just cut out the credit card completely. You, you realize that uh, other countries in the world, they have bank cards. It's not a debit card. It's better. Because debit cards still pass through like Visa or MasterCard system. But these bank cards... They go like direct bank to bank, completely bypassing the credit card systems. That's what we need to do right now. We need to encourage the banks to cut out the credit card processors completely. We don't need them. The payments network is also mandating that banks make sure that sites have an appeals process that allows for anyone depicting adult videos or photos to request that the content be removed, Bloomberg reported. And there you go. That is them trying to destroy the adult industry. So what's going to happen is you're going to get a porn star that signs a mountain of consent papers saying, yes, I am of legal age. This is my identity. I consent to make this video for this, like, say, Brazzers. I, I acknowledge that they own this video going forward. And then two years later... They regret having made that video. Two years later, they don't like that when you search their name, this porno pops up. And they're going to cry to the websites to get them delisted. The video that the company they filmed it for owns is now no longer going to be able to be shown anywhere because one of the people that was in it changed their mind after the fact. This is their ultimate end goal. This is how they're going to try to destroy the porn industry. The move was hailed today as a victory on social media by vociferous uh, busybody Layla Micklewaite, mouthpiece of the Exodus uh, Cry Ministry, <laughs> yep, and her ally Canadian MP Arnold Viersen, conservative Alberta. You don't even have to specify that who are currently spearheading a series of hearings in Canada's House of Commons with the goal to dismantle Pornhub and abolish all pornography. And then they wonder why everyone hates their guts. This is why I never consider Puritans to even be allies. The best a Puritan will ever be is the enemy of my enemy. I will never consider them friends or allies because the second we defeat our common enemy, they will come after us.
So the, the best option with any fight involving a Puritan is both them and their enemies take each other out. Like that's that's it. And the funny thing is, Pornhub is already done. Like it's it's gone. It's over. Everyone's on X Hamster now. Pornhub's done. They already removed all their best content. It's and plus, not to mention when the payment processing was pulled from them, they're pretty much kept afloat entirely by crypto now. Well, let this be a lesson to uh, any entrepreneurs that are going to be making the internet of the future. This is why we need gatekeeping. These same Puritans that destroyed the previous internet need to be forever banned from any future ones. Make everything private and invite only and gatekeep out the bad actors. That's what we all are going to have to do if we want to, even, even if we want to just enjoy ourselves. We have to ban everyone who keeps showing up just to screw around. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.